Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with two Hanayama puzzles, finally some new Hanayama puzzles I can review. This one is called The Cast Snow, and this one The Cast Love. They are both low-rated Hanayama puzzles regarding the difficulty, so this one is a level 1, this one is a level 2. Therefore, I'm gonna review and hopefully also solve both of them in today's video. This one was released already earlier this year. It's designed by Kyo Wong, the designer who also, for example, designed this super complex puzzle here, The Cast Trinity. Really enjoy this one. If you don't know it, just check it out. If you don't know it and never tried it, you definitely have to try this one. From my point of view, highly recommendable and difficult puzzle. And the other puzzle here, the cast Love, was designed by Scott Elliott and is, I think, the latest puzzle that was released by Hanayama. Scott Elliott, for example, also designed the cast Diamond puzzle. This packaging here, by the way, is the Japanese packaging. In Europe, the packaging is black and red, and in the US, green and white. To prevent any confusion, the puzzles are absolutely identical. So, let's just get them out of the box, and let's have a look. And no, I'm not a box collector, therefore, I just do it in the rude way and take it out. <laughs> here we go. These are the two puzzles. The cast love comes disassembled, and you need to assemble it. And this one comes... I don't know in what condition and I need to what what do I need to do by the way I need to separate these two pieces here this one also has a shiny surface and it looks quite complex so I'm really interested to see if this is really a level 2 puzzle I would also like to show you something I'm absolutely amazed of and these are these so-called gear cubes okay these are cubes I printed them on my 3d printer however these are as you can see cubes and what's pretty cool on these is they are shape-shifting, means if I start twisting them on the corners, the gear will interact and create this incredibly satisfying and confusing movement until after several evolutions, they end up in the same position as before. You can do this on the corners, but you can also do it in this way, and this is so satisfying, I tell you. They move very smooth, and the look is insane and super cool fidget toy i got also some more with different sizes of the gears so this one for example also looks pretty cool and depending on the size the tooth and the gear you can see that it looks kind of different but still very confusing this one has the biggest difference in size between the black and the white gears and it turns into kind of a triangular shape and this looks so satisfying <laughs> and if I twist it long enough very cool fidget toys definitely I would also of course appreciate if you would let me know in the comments what you think about them but for now let's continue with these two puzzles and after spoiler break you're gonna see my first attempt and the solution for the cast love and the cast snow so let's start with the easier one, the cast love. And by looking at it, I think I already can see the solution because most people probably try to assemble it in this way. Somehow push it together, but uh, there is an easy trick and this is rotation, I would assume. And this is by just taking it and sliding it into each other. And you can see this works very well. And then it comes together, wow. Snaps in place snug fit but also comes apart smooth and easy and this is just an insane and super satisfying puzzle it was not said to be one as a level one but definitely a good decision by hanayama to release a puzzle like this because it's just so satisfying it's a nice gift and i think for someone who never was in contact with puzzles this is also more challenging than it might seem. I mean, I knew how to assemble it from this puzzle here. It's called the Cast Marble, designed by Oscar van Deventer. And there, it's kind of a similar movement where you need to separate these pieces. And if you look at these core pieces here, you can see that they also separate in kind of the same way as the heart. And therefore, I thought or immediately saw that this is probably here the same solution. Still a nice puzzle. Very, very satisfying to solve. And now let's have a look at the cast snow, which I expect will be more tricky. 
As I said already in the introduction, I'm not sure if this is really a level two puzzle, but let's see. First, I need to understand where I need to exit this maze-like structure. So this seems to be the starting point, this mark here and over here. So this wasn't the correct position, but where do I need to exit the maze? So I will move, or I will try to move step by step by step to all holes. Let's see if I can identify the hole where I need to exit the puzzle. Or do I need to maybe enter in the uh, exit in the center? No, also don't works. If I look on the on the holes, I think it must be this one here. Looks slightly, very slightly bigger than the other ones. Yeah, this one is the right one. You can see it want to go through, but this one, it seems was not the right choice. Ah, yes, it was. And here we go. That's already the solution. So I made the right assumption. Usually I think you try it step by step by step. And I just looked at it in detail and you can, let's, let's measure it. Let me just get my caliper. And this is like 8.5 millimeters. So there's only 0.5 millimeters in difference between the go and no go condition. If it's interesting for me that I'm able to see this, it's only 0.5 millimeters. So let's get it back together. Put it together like so. And here. So now it's back in the initial condition. Puzzle is solved. I think I agree here to the difficulty ratings by Hanayama. So this definitely is also a one out of a maximum of five on my personal difficulty rating scale. But this one I would not rate with a one, but with a two out of a maximum of five. It's pretty straightforward on how this works and it's also easy to navigate through this maze-like structure. But still you need some time to figure out which is the right exit. That's it for today. But I think also some easier puzzles are definitely worth showing them. And if you would like to see a very difficult puzzle, you can check out the video here for the cast trinity. And you can be sure you will be very confused after the video because this puzzle is quite complex to solve. Check it out here. That's it for today. Let me know in the comments which one of these two you prefer, which is your favorite Hanayama puzzle. And until next time, keep on puzzling.